Well, hi everyone. I'm Nick Sardelli, and um, something's been uh, something's been going down in the school. I don't know if you guys have noticed or anything, but me and my pal Donnie Cole have decided to take it upon ourselves to reach out to you guys about the hairy guy. You guys know who we're talking about. That hairy guy that's always alone and nobody likes him. You know what I mean? He's just hairy and nobody likes him. Hi, I'm Donnie Cole. I also did this, uh, this documentary on him. I, at the first day of school, he was sitting by himself, uh, eating by himself at lunch. He really just baffled me. I really didn't know what was going on with him. So I just wanted to go dig deep and so did Nick Sarnelli. So we really just decided to make this to make him reach out to the world and make him have a you know better time here at good old Penn Trafford. So, we're gonna dig deep, like those archaeologist guys, and we're gonna find out about this hairy guy. Alright, so, do you know uh, the hairy guy in the school? Yeah. Uh, what do you feel about him? Um, he's kinda icky, like, there's hair everywhere. One time I seen him go over to a cheerleader and sniff her hair. Scary. Harry. Is his name Larry? Have you ever communicated with the hairy guy? Uh, I see him occasionally, but I never actually communicate with the hairy guy. Harry. Harry. He's Harry. It, just because my hair is... I didn't have to be Harry! Seriously! So, Mr. Vin, uh, how does the hairy guy act in class? He does really good work. He's quiet, but I gotta get him to stop chewing on the keyboards. He's ruined three of them already this semester. Does he get in trouble for that? He's hairy guy. I mean, what am I going to do? So, uh, Mrs. Guy, how do you feel about being the mother of the most hated kid in school? Outstanding. I raised him great. I fed him lots of protein, as you can tell. Would you say he's attractive? Oh, he's outstandingly attractive. He's so handsome. He's just really freaking creepy. Like, I I'm terrified of my... I, I, like, heard he ate a guy once. I never ate anyone! I did it! Um, I love him. I, I, he's the most hated kid in school. I really don't. I don't see how he's the most with that kind of hair. Have you ever come into contact with the hairy guy? No. Not not even once. Not even once. Waiting. Well, if you count in the halls, then maybe like twice. The people don't like that amount of hair. Why not? What do you feel about him? What do you think about him? Yeah, that guy's a wiener. Do you think he has an infatuation with hair? That could be it. That could be it. Hair is a beautiful thing. Why don't you just shave him? Why would I do that? Luxurious locks of hair are what makes you a handsome person. No, everybody hates you. Weedy. It seems you had an ex-girlfriend. You want to tell me about that? Well, if you can count it, it only lasted a few days. She left me for a guy who had a tail. So, um, Aaron, correct? Yes. You are the ex-girlfriend of the hairy guy. How, how do you feel about that? Um, I just want to punch him in the face sometimes. You know, it was a pretty bad breakup. Do you have any of the hairy guy's old brushes at your house? That's gross. Why would I keep brushes? I'm sensing a little bit of denial. I'm thinking that you might have some of his old brushes. Why? Uh, can you tell me what happened, like, whenever you first asked him to do these interviews for us? Uh, it was hard finding him. I found him, like, in a corner of uh, the stairwell. Uh, I tried talking to him. I said, hey, uh, hairy guy. He got kind of upset. He started crying and started hugging me. I, I was kind of freaking out. So I just freaking booked it. But later again, Nick went on and uh, he got the interviews with him. Uh, he got him to come here and have, actually have interviews with him. So it, it worked out in the end. Do you shampoo? Oh, twice a day. I even condition. So this is my locker. Of course, it's different. They decided they were going to point me out in front of the whole school as not being normal. So that's cool. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's, what's up? up man? What's Come up? on, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah. May 23rd, 2012. Harry Guy underwent some crazy surgery. Results came back and found that his organs were clotted with massive piles of hair. <laughs> Didn't go well. Harry Guy's dead. No more. 
Many students didn't really care. A lot of students didn't even notice. But I remember Harry Guy. I remember Harry Guy. He will remain in our hearts. In our hairy, hairy hearts. To just, just to remind all of us. It's just a little bit of hair.